Welcome to Atoms that Chem Updates. Today we are going to discuss about basic concepts of organic chemistry. Most of the students are afraid of organic chemistry. Now, in this video lesson, we are trying to make organic chemistry is an easy one topic. Let's discuss. First of all, we will we want to know about organic chemistry. Organic chemistry is a branch of chemistry which deals with the study of carbon compounds. Organic chemistry it is a branch of chemistry which deals with the study of carbon compounds. Hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons are those compounds which contain carbon and hydrogen only. Hydrocarbons are those compounds which contain carbon and hydrogen only. This hydrocarbons under the category, the first one will come saturated hydrocarbon and the second one is unsaturated hydrocarbon. First one saturated, second one unsaturated hydrocarbon. Saturated hydrocarbons are those compounds which contain carbon carbon single bond. In saturated hydrocarbons, carbon carbon single bond exists. In the case of unsaturated hydrocarbons, carbon carbon double bonds or triple bonds, that is, multiple bond exist between the carbon atoms. In unsaturated hydrocarbons, carbon carbon double bond and carbon carbon triple bond exist. Now, hydrocarbons are those compounds which contain carbon and hydrogen only. Hydrocarbons mainly divide into two categories saturated and unsaturated number of bonds present. Saturated means carbon carbon single bond exists, and unsaturated means carbon carbon multiple bond exists. This multiple bonds either double bond or triple bond. In the case of saturated hydrocarbon, carbon carbon single bond exists, it is known as alkanes. It is known as alkenes. And carbon carbon triple bond exists, it is known as alkynes. In organic chemistry, for naming the compounds, we want to know about the number of carbon atoms present in it. In organic chemistry, the name of organic compound is derived from the number of carbon atoms. To know this, we want to learn the basic idea. If the organic compound contains one carbon atom, it indicates meth, 2, 4, get, 3, 4, prop, 4, 4, but, 5, 4, pent, 6, 4, hex, 7, 4, 4, hept, 8, 4, opt, 9, 4, nut, and 10, 4, dead. Here, first of all, we want to know about certain property of carbon. Carbon have a special property that is called a catenation. Catenation means the self-limiting self property of carbon atoms. That means carbon combines with another carbon to form long chain compounds. Carbon possesses the valency 4, so carbon is termed as disintegrovalence. So now move to the name of first carbon compound. Carbon compound containing 4 valency. As we are discussing about hydrocarbons, hydrocarbons are those compounds which contain carbon and hydrogen only. So this carbon possesses four valency. These four valencies are satisfied by four hydrogen atoms. So the first compound is CH4. Now move to the second one. Two carbon atoms are there. In this carbon, one valency is satisfied with one carbon. So the remaining three valencies are satisfied by three other hydrogen atoms. Come to this carbon, 
one balance is satisfied with this carbon, so the remaining three valences are satisfied by another three hydrogen atoms. In this case, two carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms. Come to three carbon compounds. Here, this carbon possesses from valency with the another carbon, so the remaining three satisfied with the hydrogen atoms. This carbon already bonded with the two other carbon atoms, so it remains only two. This carbon, one valency is satisfied, so the remaining with the three other hydrogen atoms. Now, there are three carbon atoms, C3, number of hydrogen atoms are H8. So, now you can see one trend. The first compound is CH4, second compound is C2H6, and the third compound is C3H8. That means every successive compounds have a difference between one carbon and two hydrogen atoms. That means from the first compound CH4 and the second compound C2H6, there is a difference between CH2. Second compound is C2H6 and the third compound is C3H8. There is a difference between CH2. That means we can make a general formula. The general formula is CnH2n plus 2. Here CnH2n plus 2 is the general formula of alkanes. Why it is general formula of alkanes? Because in the initial time we discussed about carbon carbon single bond exists. That single bond compounds are called as saturated compounds and that is alkanes. So the general formula of alkanes is CnH2n plus 2. Imagine the value of A is equal to 1. So C1 H2 into 1 plus 2. That is CH4. Second one N equals 2. So the value is C2 H6. The value of N equals 3. Then the compound is C3 H8. Now we are going to discuss about unsaturated compounds. Unsaturated compounds in two categories. The first one is alkenes. Carbon carbon double bond. Alkynes. Carbon carbon triple bond. Now we are going to directly apply the formula. Alkenes possess the general formula Cn H2n. Alkynes general formula Cn H2n minus 2. Alkenes are hydrocarbons which contain carbon carbon double bond. Alkenes are hydrocarbons which contain carbon carbon triple bond. In both the cases, the value of N equals 1 is not acceptable because alkenes and alkenes are unsaturated compounds and they possess multiple bonds. So the first compound N equals 2, so the compound is C2H4. You can write the compound double bond H, that is C2H4. N equals 3, the compound is C3, H6, come to our case, the value of N equals 2, the compound is C2, H2, that is CH, triple bond, CH, the value of N equals 3, then it will become C3, H4 CH3 single bond C triple bond CH Look at this compound. It contains two carbon atoms. The root name is F. It contains double bond and it is the family belongs to alkene. So the name of this compound is ethene. N equals 3. The root name is prop, so the name of the compound is propene. In our future videos, we will discuss about how we are able to name the organic compounds.
Here the compound contains carbon 2. So the compound is ethyne YME. It contains 3 carbon atoms. So the compound is propyl. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe our channel for further videos. Keep in touch.